Today, we're going to demonstrate a series of functional checks to confirm proper operation prior to its first operational test use of the Gilson MD2000 micro Deval apparatus. The MD2000 is used to determine the abrasion loss of aggregate in the presence of water and an abrasive charge in accordance with ASDM and AASHTO standards. The electronic controller of the MD2000 allows the test duration to be controlled either by elapsed time or number of jar revolutions. In the time mode, the test will continue until the elapsed timer reaches zero. In the revolution mode, once the counter is set to a specific number of revolutions, the test will continue until the revolution's counter reaches set point. During this functional check, it is important that the user does not place testing jars in the machine until prompted later. When the MD2000 first powers up, the user is asked to select either time or revolution mode. To check for proper operation in the time mode, the user first puts in a short test time. Press A for the time mode. To input a short test time, press OK and the time value will begin to flash. Adjust the value using the plus or minus buttons. Time displayed is in whole minutes. Once the desired short time duration is displayed, press OK to save. Close the unit's doors by closing the bottom door first then closing and latching the top door. Press the green start button to activate the motor drive and check to see if the rear rollers in the top and bottom chambers are spinning smoothly. Allow the timer to count down to zero and the unit will automatically stop. To check for proper operation in the revolutions mode, Disconnect and then reconnect the MD2000 to its power supply. Now, press B for the revolutions mode. To input a small number of test revolutions, press the OK button. The revolutions, or REVS, value will begin to flash. Adjust the set point using the plus or minus buttons. Once the desired value is displayed, press OK to save. Now press the green start button to activate the motor drive and check to see that the rear rollers in the top and bottom chambers are spinning smoothly. Note that with no jars in place, the unit will not count the number of revolutions. So after about 30 seconds, press the red stop button to discontinue roller rotations. The operation of the MD2000 may now be checked with the jars in place. Now, inspect the MD2000 jars. Look specifically for possible damage to the encoder decals on the jar lids. The optical encoder may not function properly if these decals are damaged. Remove the lids by loosening the locking knob and remove any contents. Divide the steel balls evenly between the two jars. Next, fill the jars half full of tap water and secure the lids. Please note that excessive tightening of the lids knob may result in deformation of components. Tighten until only snug. Now, invert each jar to check for a watertight seal. If a jar leaks, inspect the seal's surface for debris or a damaged gasket. If a watertight seal cannot be established, do not use the jar and contact your Gilson technical support team for recommendations. After a watertight seal is confirmed, Place the jar on its side in the recessed area of the roller set. The lid of each jar must face the optical encoder on the left side of the cabinet. 
Close the unit's doors by closing the bottom door first, then closing and latching the top door. Press the green start button. The jars will turn and the controller will count to set point. Once the counter reaches set point, the power to the motor will then cut off and the rollers will stop. With the successful completion of your functional checks, your Gilson MD2000 is ready for operation. For any questions concerning the Gilson MD2000 Micro Deval apparatus, or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.